Not this time. I coded a Wordle bot that broke the world record. Stay tuned to the end where I face the bot against a pro Wordle speedrunner to see who can come out on top. But first, let me show you how I did it. There are three main things I need to accomplish with this bot. First, I need a test environment where I can play unlimited time games. Second, I need my bot to be able to see and process the board. And third, I need it to be able to quickly type out its own guesses. Uh, the first step was easy. Okay, so the first challenge I had to overcome is that Wordle only lets you play one game per day. So to get around this, I made my own version of Wordle that lets you play infinite games. Take that, comment. Also comes with this neat little clock here, which means I can track how long each attempt takes as a metric for improving. Okay, so the second step is to allow my bot to quickly type out its own guesses. So to start, I wrote this Python function, which can interact with my laptop's keyboard, and type out six guesses in under five seconds. That's pretty fast. This is pretty good, but before I let my bot type out its own original guesses, I need to jump to step three real quick and allow it to see the board. So, so we'll come back to all this. Okay, so to allow my bot to see, I wrote this Python script, which uses MSS to screenshot the current row after each guess. Then I'm going to split the screenshot into five columns and use pixel counting to determine the dominant color in the frame. The results are saved in a virtual board which stores greens as uppercase letters, yells as lowercase, and grays as just blanks. All right, that was actually really quick. Now all I need to do is allow my bot to type its own guesses into the board so it can actually play. And so to do this, I wrote this aside next guess function right here. This is where the magic happens. Okay, so when a normal person is playing Roto, they might guess a safe word to start like a do, then get one yellow, and from then on, take the information from their their previous guesses to make a secondary guess, like stunt and so on. This creates an issue though, as there's 15,000 different five letter words in the word of library, meaning processing guesses one word at a time like this would just take way too long. So while this approach makes sense to a risk averse human, when trying to solve Wordle as fast as possible, it makes sense to use all the resources given to you. In this case, all five of these rows. So the strategy my bot uses is how speedrunners approach the game, which I'll call starter groupings, or combinations of a few words that complement each other to reveal information about the board quickly. There's many different starter groupings that I could have used, but the one I got the most success with was Haven, Jumpy, Fritz, Clogs. 77% total alphabet coverage and zero overlapping letters. Okay, and here's the power of using starter groupings. Because we're covering three quarters of the letters in the alphabet, we almost always get a situation like this on guess five, where there are only a few possible words left. Here, the word could either be matey or tamey. I'm actually not sure which one of these is real. But by using starter groupings, we got the word list down from 15,000 to two, a 99% decrease. And I don't know about you, but 99% sounds pretty good to me. So as you can see, the 15,000 words we started with and the Jeez, over 400,000 letters that could have each class. of them. Hey, you. What? Yeah, you. Who, me? Didn't you already do this bit before? Have you always been able to hear me? Nah, I'm just messing with you, man. Anyway, numbers, am I right? This yeah, stuff's crazy, man. Okay, so our final step is to allow the bot to type its own guesses. The first four words are simple as the words from our starter groupings are just entered. My guesses five and six are more difficult as any five letter word can be guessed. So to narrow down guesses, my bot first removes all words that contain any gray letters. It then removes the words that don't contain the greens in proper locations. And then finally, it removes the words that don't have all the yellows in any location. So M, T, not here. And boom, then it just guesses from the remaining words. All right, let's implement this logic as code. All right, I've been coding this for like four hours and I think I finally got it. Woohoo! Let's go. All right, it's time to break this world record. All right, guys, I'm about to reach out to the current Wordle world record holder, tongue twister, Stanley Chappelle, to see if he wants to go head to head with my ball. Um, as far as I can find, he has the current world record for the fastest 10 game Wordle time, 46.75 seconds. And so originally, I was just gonna show y'all the bot beating his world record and calling it a day, like a coward. Then I thought, why not challenge Stanley himself? What is one person who you like really wanna meet who you haven't yet? A mecha mo maker. And let him go head to head against my bot in an ultimate test of man versus machine. And let him helplessly watch my bot break his world record, if it works. So I'm gonna be shooting him a DM to see if he's down, and I'm praying that he is. Probably follow him first to be nice. All right, what to say? Part of me scared he's like not gonna wanna do any of this because he's like, you know, a real speedrunner and he appreciates the art. He doesn't wanna see like some robot come take his job. I guess we'll just see how it goes. Hey man. <laughs> Message is sent. I'll check back if he replies. Stanley didn't respond. He's Hollywood as shit, but it's okay. I'm still gonna be breaking this world record. I've got his world record video pulled up here, as well as my bot, and we're gonna face them head to head and cook him up. Cause I guess I still have enough clout for you to answer me. It's fine. I don't even care. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. And they're off. I'm back off to a great start here again. That first one in under three seconds. Meanwhile, Stanley barely misses the mark. Yeah, Jim, and when you look at both these athletes, the main thing that stands out to me is just the levels of composure. I mean, the is clearly locked in. Look at that snarl. Meanwhile, you can almost hear the nerves in Stanley's voice. This is very good. Not a good sign here going forward. For sure, Jim, in 20 seconds in right now, we approach the halfway point and oh! Emeka seems to be taunting the opponent! Now this is what you love to see here. Checking the watch, a few yawns. Emeka seems comfortable here going into these last few words. Emeka on his last few words here with Stanley a word behind. Yeah, Jim, and I'll stop me typing, John. I'm trying to see who wins this. Fine, asshole. 
and the mecha finishes with a time of 40.71 seconds. And just like that, looks like we beat it. Let's cut to the sidelines and see how mecha's feeling. If you ever try and ignore me, anyone, when I DM you, you better answer. Because if you don't, this is the legacy that will be left behind for you. All right, well, uh, that was pretty easy. Time to flex on my friends, I guess. All right, everyone, this is my brother, Ike. Say hi, Ike. How's it going? How's it going? Okay, Ike, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good would you say that you are at the game of Wordle? Probably like a 6, 7. <laughs> my goal today is to try to bump that down to a 0. So we're going to race to see who can solve Wordle faster, you or my ball, okay? Let's do it. But there's a catch. You only have to solve one, and my bot has to get 10 in a row. What? Okay, it's easy. If this is anything like that Clash Royale bot, man, I got this. All right, bro. All right start in three, two, one, go. Okay, start with happy. You get a Y. That's one. Happy. That's two. Um. Fucking sh. Uh. Not trying to stress you out, but I'm five out of ten. I don't know. Snappy. You gotta hurry That's it up. That's not word. Um. Okay, seven. Um. Eight. eight. Um. Um. Come on, one more. Um. Bang, bang. that's ten. Bang. Uh. Can I uh, see where you're at? Can you share your screen? Uh, yeah. Bro, you guys double P. <laughs> you know if there's no P and you wasted like so many guesses on P's. Human brain right, can't good. compete. You made my bot look pretty good, so thank you for that. AI is taking over, man. So I will no longer be accepting these type of comments. But on a real note, the channel is growing super fast. I'm happy you guys enjoy watching the videos. I genuinely enjoy making them. If you're new here, I would subscribe. Imagine investing in Bitcoin in 2008. That's the offer I'm giving to you right now. New shot on the way soon. Bye.